bless America. Gotta let you know what's up. God bless America. Are you sleep or are you up? God bless America. Trying to hit you with the news. God bless America. Don't be no dummy or a fool. God bless America. I gotta let them know what's up. God bless America. Are you sleep or are you up? God bless America. Trying to hit you with the news. God bless America. Don't be a dummy or a fool. Bear to me. This is the land of opportunity. You would say this my community. I stay updated with the foolery. They left Period. a wolf in the chicken's coop. Mm. That's what they did. It's unbelievable. In my years of activism, three decades, I ain't never seen nothing like this. These people knew. Who's protecting the kids? These people knew. What up, y'all? It's Papa Z, and I'm back with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be a little different, man. Normally, I'm on here talking about America first and, you know, the political things that's going on in America. But today's video, man, this is very disturbing. Uh, so disturbing that you can't even trust anybody nowadays, not even let alone the teachers at schools. So this video is, is about a teacher, Miss Grisby, who taught at Klein Kane High School. Uh, this low down dirty dog was helping her son traffic underage girls, I believe 15, 16, and 17. Um, this, is, this is sick, man, this is sickening. And the reason why it hurts me so much is because I do have daughters. You know, and I wish my kids would have been at that school because I would have been down there on the first thing smoking to report this. And if I would have seen the teacher, something probably would have happened. But uh, the teacher, she reported it a year prior to the school acting like they just found out about it. She went down there with documents, everything. Uh, evidence all that stuff and this low down dirty administration at this school gave this lady an ultimatum either resign or get fired for her blowing the whistle on this dirty dog female teacher you know it's just hard to say that to think of the words to even describe what I'm feeling inside about this you know this is this is just absolutely crazy you can't trust nobody the school act like they never heard anything about it it's the first time that they actually hearing about it once the police arrested that low down dirty dog of a lady you know what I'm saying but anyway man, I'm gonna let this video play and they'll explain everything and, and you know everything that happened uh, all the allegations, all the evidence, and everything. And what the school even said, you know, they want to play dumb. But this activist, I don't know the guy's name, but he called him out. He called him out. You know what I'm saying? They need to answer for this. I feel just like how he feel. They need to answer for this. Now, if nobody at that school in administration gets charged without reporting this or failing to report a crime, Something is really wrong, man. Something really wrong. But anyway, I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. I might interrupt the video and come back in and say a little bit, but anyway, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Y'all peep this out, man. This is unbelievable. They need to wipe the administration clean. Fire the principal and every district official and representative who knew about this and did not notify the parents and did not pull that teacher off campus. For them to have that sensitive information, police reports, sworn statements, they left that teacher on campus wow. when details was given about her involvement and what she was doing. I want to see them all fired. And then I want to see those who should be charged with failure to report, charged with failure to report, for that is a state law. The district says they weren't aware of the allegations or her alleged connection to her son, who investigators say was arrested in 2022 for similar charges until yesterday when the sheriff's office alerted them. 
At this time, Grigsby, who we learn lives with her husband and two children, is charged with three counts of trafficking a child and three counts of compelling prostitution of juveniles, but will likely face additional charges, according to prosecutors who anticipate more victims to come forward. And they did nothing and then had the nerve to come and lie to the public. We had no idea until the sheriff notified us and they were going to arrest her. That's a lie. It's a lie. We got the documents to prove it. We got the emails back and forth with district officials and the teacher. Man, this is criminal. So hold on. So the school act like they never got a report, like the, 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 the former teacher never came in and filed a, a report with evidence or any of that. The school act like that never happened. So just to let you guys know, here is the complaint. Here is all the evidence and everything. This happened uh, February 2023 is when she came in and reported. And then they left the lady, this dirty dog lady of a teacher in the school to still be around those kids until what was it? April of 2024. That's over a year that this teacher was able to stay around kids and the school did nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. But anyway, here go all the stuff right here, all the facts right here, all right? Well, they always say the chicken's gonna come home to roost. So back in November of 2022, Roger, which is the son of Ms. Grisby was arrested, okay? This information was brought to the district by this former teacher back on February 21st, 2023. Okay, so when this teacher brought it to Miss Nicole Payton, uh, Shayna Jobert, Go ahead. and Robert Cabal, call the names, uh, was who she spoke to on that campus on February 21st, 2023. Carrie Evel, E L V E, is one who took the statement. On February 21st, 2023, Miss Davis is who came to the campus and called the principal as well as this former teacher in to either for her to demand to resign or to be terminated because she blew the whistle on Miss Grisby because her daughter was involved. This, this same parent reached out to me, this parent slash teacher reached out to me back in 2023 because when her daughter was caught in the hotel back in 2022, the daughter had charges on her. A 17 year old woman that we're referring to as Jane Doe tells Fox 26 about the time she spent working as a prostitute for Roger McGee. The man was arrested in November 2022 for solicitation of prostitution and trafficking one day after Jane Doe was found in Hotel Royale off FM 1960. Jane says she met McGee through a mutual friend and told her McGee would take care of her and give her money. She left out the part of that I had to Sell my body. Jane says she started out walking along the Bissonette track. And so she ended up getting legal counsel. So then when she got the legal counsel, then her daughter was no longer in trouble. They found out that the daughter was the victim. Wow. Okay. So then, so when we go from there, we got emails in <laughs> reference to after the whistle was blown, then we got Retaliation. Back in February 24th, 2023, Wink that was up. sent. The right there. Okay, so this email was sent to Carrie E L V E L V, which is with Klein ISD. Name the date. On February 24th, 2023, at 11:05 a.m., talking about new concerns. Okay, then it was brought with that response was that they were unable to meet with this teacher when she was trying to state the concerns and also provided evidence about what was going on. But about remember, February 23rd is when she reported. She reported on February 23rd to district officials. And on February 24th, they were talking about having a meeting with her. You understand? A secondary meeting. So I just cannot wait since the district officials are here. Y'all are here, right? 
Are, are y'all here? Mm -hmm. Our cat got your tongue now. So I can't wait for you all to come on up here and tell us oh. what you've been telling to the public but that you did not know about this. But wait a minute. But then it was another email that was sent on February 21st, which was the very first email. February 21st, 2023 at 523 p.m. by the former teacher where it states evidence of allegations. The, the former teacher provided evidence of the text messages that this young man who is now locked up in Harris County that was sending to her directly, threatening her. So this was also sent to Miss Carrie Elvie on February 21st, 2023. And this teacher asked to be remained anonymous. The people who this former teacher who worked there that, that, whist, that blew the whistle, they were out there when they was giving this press conference and check out what they did when they were called out. We're going to step out of the way now and let the district respond. Excuse us. Yeah, let us get over here. Are y'all coming? We want y'all to talk. Y'all not coming? But wait a minute, didn't you and I talk? Didn't we talk? Didn't you tell me you all didn't know nothing about this? You told me that, sir. He probably did. No, 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 no. You told me, sir, that you all knew nothing about this. I demand you apologize to the parents because you all did know. You told me a lie and you told the media a lie that you didn't know anything about this. How could you embarrass the district and embarrass parents with a lie like that? Mm. And you left a pimp. Mm. You left a sex trafficking pimp of a teacher on campus mm. from February 23rd to April 24th in 2024. That's a long time. No, man, y'all got the answer for this. The lies must come to an end now. Right now. Man, I'm with them. I'm with them 100%. And here is the victim of this crime. This is what she has to say, and this is what she went through. Y'all pay attention to this. It's disturbing. I was just seeing all these women half naked, all these strange guys yelling, basically barking at me. A week later, her pictures were placed on websites online. She said she and two other young girls would each have sex with at least 10 different men each night in various hotels. Jane and her mother were arguing at the time of her disappearance. October 7th, 2022 was the last time her mom heard from her. She got into Jane's Instagram messages and reached out to a man she had never seen before. I said, hey, have you seen my kid? I've been looking for her. He responded back and said, Roger McGee responded back and said, I don't know this But in November, her daughter contacted her from a private number, threatening to end her life. Her mom, along with the police, found Jane in the hotel in horrible shape from being abused and drugged. Jane says McGee's mother, Kedrick Grigsby, the former Klein ISD teacher who was arrested for the same charges this week, would interact with her often. I kept telling them people, I said, go arrest the mama <laughs> because my baby told me that she was the one getting them hotel rooms. And I said, well, no, mommy, she a church going lady. She's so nice. When I met her, she was nice. I said, no, I have a son too. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to keep getting rooms for underage girls for my son. Wow. Well, there's so much more that we can't fit into a newscast. We're going to have an extended version of this interview on Fox Local later on tonight. Uh, Kendra Grigsby and her son both await their days in court. Also want to remind everybody that for the second time this week, Klein ISD said that the claims made in a Wednesday press conference were false. They did everything they could to get Grigsby out of the campus, out of the way of Klein ISD students after they found out that she was allegedly accused or accused of uh, all the allegations that we heard about. This is absolutely just disturbing, man. This is crazy. I can't even imagine something like that happening. You know, I, I feel for the three young victims, uh, the dirty dog lady and her dirty dog son, they need to get whatever the law gives them. And, and if they throw the book at them, throw the book at them. Because the mama not right and the son is not right.
I don't know what in the I don't know what in the world this lady was thinking about. She just threw away her career for her no good, low down, dirty son. Threw away her career. You know what I'm saying? Now she's facing 25 to 99 years. Life in prison, probably even more than that. She got three counts of everything. You know? But the moral to the story, man, look. Don't trust nobody. You can't even, you can't trust a school teacher. <laughs> Of anybody, you can't trust a school teacher, man. So what makes you think you can just trust anybody? This is crazy. But man, I, I, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I just had to come on here, man, report about this because it is it, very disturbing. You know, I have kids, you know, daughters, and uh, I probably would have deleted both of them dirty dog people. But man, anyway, man, like I always say, Protect yourself at all times. Protect your kids at all times. Keep your head on the swivel. God bless you. God bless me. God bless those victims, man. And God bless America. I'm out. Papa Z. Peace. God bless America. I gotta let them know what's up. God bless America. Are you sleep or are you up? God bless America. Trying to hit you with the news. God bless America. Don't be a dummy or a fool. They watching me like a film. Get the news. Papa Z films. They watching me like a film. Get the news. Papa Z films.